Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens, Once Upon a Game, and yesterday I got in the mail uh, my Kickstarter for the Thunder Alley uh, Crew Chief expansion. This is a set of cards that had some variety to the gameplay. Uh, this was actually uh, produced by um, Jeff and Carla Horger um, through their, what's the NNG, is the uh, Nothing New Games. Nothing Now Games, sorry, my bad. Uh, but it was actually designed by Richard Launius, who's designed several uh, uh, many big title games and uh, solo solo play games as well. This is not, I believe, add solo uh, to Thunder Alley, but that's easy enough to accomplish. So you've seen other video on my solo variant for that, and other people have have others as well. So yeah, we're going to open it up, see what you get inside. It's a you know small box, um, and it yeah, it still says it's for two date players. This has some varying features for Thunder Alley. Um, uh, let's just take a look and see what it says. Provides a new way to play Thunder Alley by adding strategic options which offset the luck of the draw and allow for more control over your team. Expansion contains 236 cards. It has conditional cards, crew chief cards, lap cards, uh, race to the finish cards, setup cards, and track cards. So this again was a Kickstarter. Um, and it moved pretty quick, actually. This was a you know, surprise to Kickstarter. It, it funded and and came out uh, pretty quick. In fact, it kind of surprised me. I saw that they were shipping them, but it still surprised me when it showed up in the mail yesterday. So, I'm going to get a rule book. 16 pages. Uh, tells you how to use the different, uh, the different cards. I don't know how this may or may not affect the... Uh, my solo variant. Uh, we'll have to see as we play it here. Uh, you got track rules versus crew chief card rules. Star drivers, that's interesting. Um, lucky dog, oh, wow, a lot of good stuff here. So we got three, three decks here. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, instead of the little tokens, you've got cards, it looks like, for the, uh, when you're crossing the uh, finish line, you don't have to take little tokens, you can get a card. Um, that's my guess, based on what I'm seeing. So let's see what the cards are like. They are, they're a little thin. They're definitely not as thick as I even think a standard poker card. So... I mean, they're not linen finish, which is fine with me because I'm not a big fan of linen finish. But uh, uh, so we got tenth place card, lapped, eliminated. Obviously, those have certain functions. Obviously, the first place can't be lapped or eliminated. Um, looks like they're not really in any order. You do have a lap uh, counter card that you can put out because now instead of just the three laps that are on the tracks. You can have varying uh, lengths of your race. Um, so this is a lap card. And these are various tracks. So these are, just gotta sort them here as we go. These are uh, place markers. So you got tracks here, Motorworks 500. Uh, this is track Alonius. So you use the Alonius track. Uh, Motorworks 500 is the race. And it tells you there are no special rules and there are no bonus points, but you do four laps. So now when you use your lap card, you can use the four lap lap card. So that's kind of cool. City of Arkham 100 uses the Rene Heckman Memorial Track. Runs two laps. No special rules, no bonus points. Shows it to you. Oh, darn. City of Arkham, I was hoping they were going with more of a Batman theme, but they've got the, uh, the horrendous uh, Cthulhu crap thrown into here. Ugh. Blech, blech, blech. Not a Cthulhu nonsense fan. Anyway, uh, St. Andreana uses Wits, the Whitson Motorsports 600. And this is a three lap track. So you got several track cards that set up different things. So you can vary that. More place cards, more track cards, more place cards. Again, they're kind of thin, but you're probably not going to use them all that much. They're not replacing the. Uh, uh, the event cards and the race cards in the uh, in the main game. So uh, lots of lots of races. Goodness gracious, races and places. 
at the After Turkey Day 500 is a five lap track. It shows you which track you're actually using. All right, so that, this one looks to be all laps and tracks and places. So we'll open another deck real quick just to see what else is in that. And these all actually have the uh, crew chief back to them. So they're definitely going to be uh, more orderly, I guess. Let's see what we got. And these are actually the same thin, thin stock. But that's okay. So, crew card, aggressive driving. It's a condition card. All cars on your team gain one movement point. All lateral movement for your team costs one movement point less than normal. All right. Looks like you got some... This card may not be played on the current on-track leader. So you got some bonus cards you can use. Back in it. Solo movement card, draft movement card. Uh, balanced tires. After setting the field for a green flag start, before the first activation, move each of your cards forward two spaces using work the pack movement. The other teams have the same strategy. These are strategy cards. Use the team bar to determine the order. All right, so you got conditions. We've got strategy cards. Some really nice stuff here. Now these obviously are strategies that aren't going to go into the uh, normal race card deck because they don't match, but I guess you have them and you can play them once per race perhaps. So you don't have to worry about these integrating directly um, with the, uh, like I said, the race cards or the uh, event cards in Thunder Alley, but what you get is three decks of cards, which is a total of 226, I said, I believe. 236. And uh, in three stacks, you'll have to sort those yourself. And a rule book. But that is what is available in the Thunder Alley Crew Chief Expansion. And that's for Thunder Alley by GMT Games. This is, of course, by Nothing Now. Nothing Now Games. And designed by Richard Lonius. So... Thanks for watching. Happy racing. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.